Hey, what's going on guys? Patrick from B Squared. Today's video is going to be a quick reaction type response video to Cameron Das, who posted a vlog video talking about his 8 hour race when he came up to our series here in Canada. So I'm going to watch this video and maybe make some comments on what I think at this point, but this river in turn one is causing us so many problems. For some reason, the car behind me is actually gaining time massively through that river, like as if the river isn't even there. And to make matters worse, okay, so he's talking about going through the river in turn one. That river is going across the track from right to left, right under the Shannonville signs. The technique that I'm doing that makes it seem like the river isn't actually there, I'm spending less time turning while I'm passing over the river. So Cameron usually took a line on the left side and started steering early. I spent more time on the inside, had a shorter period where my tires were on wet, and I didn't start steering until after like a couple seconds or maybe like a half a second after I passed through that river, meaning my tires spent way more time on dry pavement than they did on wet pavement. So when I went through the corner, it was just full send. 944 takes the inside. He was going so quickly. I didn't want to waste too much time battling him when I thought our main rival might be this other BRZ, which uh, unfortunately got the inside line as well. Well, but then heading into sector two, he goes for a late lunge, which I was definitely not expecting. I get on the marbles, I get on the marbles, and that gives him the inside heading into sector three. That was a good pass. You'll notice now two cars ahead of us is P2 again. So now the fight is very much alive again. Yeah, he came back and I was like, oh, let's go. <laughs> so that white car is run by Team Numi. Two M's. But we don't know exactly what their car is running. We know it's yes. manual, we know they have wider yes. tires. We know they probably have more downforce. On the car side, I can definitely tell they have more grip mid-corner than us, but I also know it's their fastest driver in the car at the moment. So the two of us ended up battling through the rest of this hour and a half long sprint. They had a fuel cell, so they went an extra 30 minutes than I could, but the That's GoPro right. battery died, so we didn't catch me actually re-overtaking for P2. And I re-overtook him for P2 as well. <laughs> super satisfying to just go back and forth and as he said it was quite a sprint race so yeah the entire stint is there I am looking in the description have fun watching it I, I always go back to it it's like one of my favorite race clips and um, very good display of how far we've come through motorsports data analysis to endurance racing coming from super grassroots time attack we didn't have much to start with but now we're fighting against F4 champions I think we did it pretty good. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you guys at the track.